Does Tesla have too much debt? In this video, we are going to examine Tesla's debt load and see what the data suggests. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to CleanerWatt. I just read an article that was published on February 13th of 2020 by Barron's, and the title of this article was Tesla Just Solved Its Biggest Problem by Selling More Stock. Here's an important excerpt from that article. Quote, Tesla has about $13 billion in debt on the books and about $6.9 billion net of cash on hand. Net debt is less than two times estimated 2020 earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. That is lower than the average company in the S&P 500. Less than a year ago, investors were concerned that the company might have to sell stock given how fast it was burning through cash. Now Tesla is in a stronger position. The company has generated cash in five of the past six quarters, full year 2019, free cash flow, operating cash minus capital spending, reached almost $1 billion. Articles like this highlight how Tesla has changed from a cash burning machine to a cash generating company. Even before the stock offering, they were in a pretty good financial position, but with the extra $2 billion of cash added to their balance sheet, they now should have over $8 billion of cash on hand. In this video, I want to examine how Tesla's debt load compares to others in the automotive market. We'll look at VW, Toyota, Ford, GM, Honda, and of course compare them to Tesla. So if we take these six companies and rank them from the most amount of debt to the least amount of debt, you'll see there that Tesla has the least amount of debt at $13.42 billion, and VW Auto Group has the most debt at $211.45 billion. Now, in order to really paint the picture of where Tesla sits with their debt load, I'm going to go through a series of ratios. While these ratios I've calculated are not necessarily a traditional way to look at the financial health of a company, I think it is a great way to compare how Tesla's debt load compares to these other companies. So the first ratio I want to look at is the debt to market cap ratio. The lower the ratio of debt to your market cap, the better. So you'll see there with Tesla's market cap over $155 billion with only $13.42 billion in debt, they have a very low debt to market cap ratio. Ford has the highest debt to market cap ratio at 4.87. So this ratio tells us that Ford has 4.87 times more debt than the entire company is worth. Whereas Tesla has 0 0.09 times as much debt as the company is worth. Another ratio that I want to examine is the debt to revenue ratio. Obviously here, once again, the lower the number, the better. So the revenues from this chart are from the full year of 2019. So you'll see here that Tesla has the second best ratio on this list if you take their debt of $13.42 billion and you divide that by the 2019 revenue of $24.58 billion, you'll see there that their debt to revenue ratio is 0.54. What this tells us is that at the end of 2019, Tesla's debt equaled about 54% of the revenue. You'll see that the highest on this list is the VW Auto Group, which has a ratio of 1.04. For the last reported 12 months trailing, VW had more debt than annual revenue. Another ratio that I want to examine is the debt to cash ratio for 2019. So if you take the amount of debt that a company has and divide it by the amount of cash on hand, we get a debt to cash ratio. The lower the number, the better position a company is in. You'll notice here on this list that Tesla actually had the lowest ratio at 2.06, meaning that at the end of 2019, Tesla's debt equaled 2.06 times the cash they had on hand. You'll see here that once again on this chart that VW actually has the worst ratio of 4.74. They have considerably more debt than they have cash on hand. Now here's a ratio that financial experts do commonly use, and this is the assets to liabilities ratio, and this helps measure the short-term liquidity of a company. For this particular ratio, you actually want a higher number to show how you are able to pay your short-term debts. Ford actually has a good position for their short-term liquidity, and you'll see there that Ford actually tops the list, but Tesla is number two. At the end of 2019, Tesla's assets were $12.10 billion and their liabilities were $10.67 billion, giving them a ratio of 1.14. In this particular metric, GM is actually in the worst position with more liabilities than assets. 
So as you can see through the ratios that we just went through, when you compare Tesla's debt load to the other companies, you'll see they're actually in a pretty good position. On top of that, Tesla is growing at a very fast pace. And if we look at Tesla's growth from 2015 to 2019 and then what it's projected to be in 2020, we'll see that they have grown substantially over the years. From 2015 to 2016, Tesla's delivery numbers grew 51%. From 2016 to 2017, those deliveries rose 35%. From 2017 to 2018, they rose 138%. From 2018 to 2019, that number rose 50%. And since Tesla has guided for over 500,000 deliveries in 2020, if they hit those numbers, we'll see at least a 36% growth year over year. So in conclusion, Tesla has a very manageable amount of debt and the company has recently transitioned from a cash burning to cash generating business. No other auto manufacturer is growing as fast as Tesla, and I see no reason why Tesla's growth will slow down anytime soon. Also, as I mentioned in a recent video, Tesla Energy is projected to grow at a high rate as well and will contribute a substantial amount to Tesla's balance sheet in the near future. Tesla can now build factories more efficiently, and they are achieving economies of scale, which will help further strengthen margins. As these numbers show, the future looks very bright for Tesla, and I believe they will be a market leader in EVs for years to come. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you liked the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find the video as well. Thank you so much.